and welcome back to my channel this is Taryn speaking and I have to say it's really good to be back myself I have had a short break because of illness so it's been a while since I launched the sims so today my speed build is all about the new or not so new anymore jungle adventurer game pack and I'm gonna build a museum imagine that and as always this build can be downloaded from the sims 4 gallery and i have posted a link in the description below for easy access you can of course search my original idea which is siren sims and check out my other build as well and if you like my builds and videos please follow and subscribe to siren sims on twitter youtube and twitch for more uploads if you don't have time to watch the entire speed build, I have a video tour in the end for you to check out, so I hope you're gonna enjoy my museum. I swear, ever since I started playing The Sims, I have always wanted to build something that was inspired from my backpacking trip to Cambodia, but I was like, what am I supposed to do with a build like that? And what are you guys supposed to do with that? So I haven't bothered to do so yet, but when the Jungle Adventure game pack was announced, I was thrilled because I knew exactly what I wanted to build. So I'm really excited about this, but I did have a huge problem. I always have this grand vision of how I want my builds to be, but it doesn't always or actually it rarely turns out how I want them. So this build took me a while to figure out how to make and even though it's not exactly how I wanted it to be, I'm pretty happy about it. So as said, my inspiration for this build is my short visit to Siem Reap in Cambodia. I'm not sure if I pronounced the name say correctly though, but anyway, I was with my friend there for two days and we were actually on our way home from our trip but I really wanted to visit Angkor Wat and all the other places and ruins so we had a pit stop there and we hired this um, took the guide for two days and he drove us around and showed us a lot of different temples and told us a lot about them. I honestly don't remember all of it now but it was quite educational at a time. So for doing this straight, we had this, as I call it, temple trekking. The first day was really nice. We visited a lot of small places and of course, probably the most famous one, Angkor Wat. That was an amazingly huge temple and it was quite strict and we had to wear long sleeves and pants or skirts that covered our knees. I just have to say that were also the rules in a lot of other places in Asia and not just there. But actually it hasn't always been like that but I don't know a few months or maybe a year before there was this model who was posing naked there and that really offended the government so long sleeves is now required. And have you seen the movie uh, Tomb Raider with Angelina Jolie? If you have, you might recall the room she fell down in the first movie. Of course, I had to visit the place named Ta Prom or something. I did search and there is no possibilities to get underground, unfortunately. I really love stuff like that and it would have been super fun to find this hidden path underground. So altogether, it was a really well spent day in the warm sunny weather and the following day we started out strong and positively excited of a new adventure but as we reached lunch times we came to the conclusion that we had had enough of temples for a while so instead of visiting more temples we were going back to the town and walked around in this huge marketplace they were selling all kinds of things and I bought some spice to bring back home and quite happy with my purchase as well. As I were bargaining with this old lady, she decided not to sell me the stuff. But as I walked to another table, she came after me and said, okay, that means I have struck a fair deal, right? I don't know, I assume we got ripped off more than a few times on a trip, but still it was really cheap either way. I was really having fun with the outside exterior. I love the new plants and trees we got in the game pack. 
I wish we could change the colors like we got in the cat and dog expansion, but it's okay. Some of the plants were changeable though, which makes everything a little more realistic in my opinion. Even though I wasn't quite sure we got several plants that we already have in the game though, it would be better with an update there. They just added a color in my opinion to the already existing ones, but oh well. So, well, that is pretty much what I feel is the downside of this pack, but altogether I'm really pleased and I love the new items. What I imagine is that this museum isn't completed yet. There are still stuff to do there, like there are still finding new objects in this area to put out on display. This is kind of like when I visited Xi'an in China. You may have heard of the Terracotta Museum in Xi'an with all the terracotta warriors. If I'm not mistaken, they are still digging for sculptures there and I wanted this museum to have something similar as well. Like in this first floor, you see that I have made this kind of pit or a hole in the floor that I am filling up with sand and dirt. And I am also placing different sculptures and urns there, so the idea is that people can see how the work is done and also show that there are still a lot of items waiting to be found. And later you'll see that I have placed archaeologist workstation there so that your sims can interact with them. A lot of museums have stuff you can interact with, so I thought it would be fun to add that as well. So these museums that I've been to, there are usually these grand rooms or halls with shelves and displays, but they are quite open and not all filled. I assume it has something to do with the fact that I don't want it to be really overcrowded places so people won't be able to accidentally run over and break stuff. I don't know, it's just a guess. So in this museum I have also a lot of open spaces. It doesn't quite look how I wanted it because I don't like it to have it like this. And I was really struggling by not adding a lot of random stuff like I do in my regular builds. You also may have noticed from the small video clip at the start that I have three main floors and also some towers on top you are actually not able to get up there so i haven't filled them with items and it is actually quite intentionally why i haven't given them some access because in museums or old buildings especially old cathedrals and stuff like that there are always these places like rooms towers and tombs where you're not allowed to go so they literally lock the door or remove the entrance itself to that place so i want to be a douchebag myself and do that but of course you can be a nicer person and give the teams some stairs to climb i just have to tell you i was in barcelona with lisa some years ago and i just had to say that we were in this huge cathedral i don't remember the name but it was not the most famous one in the middle of the city um sagrada familia i think is named but this one was a bit smaller and it was close by. As always, I was snooping around checking all the locked doors to see if someone had accidentally forgot to lock them. And I found this tomb door leading underground. And when I pulled the door, it opened with a big slam. Lizard started to laugh and I was instantly looking up to see if someone had noticed or heard a noise. And there were no guards around, so we went downstairs to check it out. It was completely dark there and we couldn't find the lights so we used our phones and while we were searching around we saw this face. It was not a dead person or someone scary but I did jump a little. It was actually uh, Mary or Maria, I don't know what you guys prefer, you know, mother of Jesus. The Christmas tree bigger than a human size in the sculpture was standing nicely display in a pit below but it did give me a bit scared before i really realized it what it was and 
we were still looking around and then suddenly the light came on and I was yelping out waiting to see this face of an angry guard but as we turned around more tourists had come down obviously I forgot to shut the door behind. Looking more around, it mostly contained a lot of chairs and hidden furniture. There were some tomb doors there, but it was well hidden behind a huge stack of chairs, so we didn't bother to take a closer look. So I was a bit disappointed, so we went back upstairs, but well, yeah, it was a bit fun. I am actually working on one of my favorite spots in this museum. I am placing these coffins so I want this to be looking like the coffins of someone really important figures and I also am gonna place these mannequins and dress them up in royal looking outfits so it shows how the royal people lived and were dressed back in the ancient days. I thought this would be a fun idea. I always stop and stare at the outfits when I visit museums, some of them look really gorgeous so I thought I wanted to have that in my own museum as well. And in this floor I also have a section where it mostly have pictures and some carpets hanging on the walls. I have also placed some benches there for your sims to rest and of course toilets are needed so I have placed them in the middle floor too. The upper floor is a bit different than the others. I have a lot of urns and broken ruins in there, quite randomly placed as well. I imagine you are allowed to touch and take a closer look at this stuff as it is more solid or something. But guys, time flies by and I have to end this. The video tour is coming up shortly and I have also found some nice jungle music for you to listen to. If you like my video please follow and subscribe to my channel on Twitter, YouTube and Twitch for more uploads. My next video is already in the making and I hope I have it ready for you soon so you can enjoy my latest build. Thank you so much for watching and take care guys. Bye bye.